Hi, this is Alicia from Be Mobile Physio and this video is about feeling stiff and tight and what you can do about it. Perhaps you have a stiff shoulder as you go to reach up or maybe when you bend over you feel tightness in your back. This might prompt you to question whether there's something structurally wrong with your muscles and joints. Well the good news is that feeling stiff doesn't necessarily equate to having short muscles or restricted joints. Pain and stiffness often go together. Now we know that pain isn't necessarily associated with tissue damage, but rather pain is a protective response produced by our brains. But sometimes our nervous system can get overprotective and feelings of stiffness can be a result of this overprotectiveness. So what can we do about feeling stiff and tight? Quite simply, the best thing that we can do is to move because movement helps to dampen down and desensitize any overprotectiveness that you might have developed. So if you find that your stiffness and tightness is associated with being in a prolonged posture, such as sitting at a desk typing in front of the computer, as you'd expect, the best remedy is to move out of that position. So you might do some squats, you might go for a jog on the spot, walk around the block, whatever you can do to move out of that position is gonna minimize your feelings of stiffness. All right, secondly, Stretching can be something that alleviates symptoms of stiffness. Although this comes back to the individual, some people might find stretching exacerbates their symptoms, whereas others find it helpful. So if there's a stretch that feels good for you, do it. It might mean bending down to the floor, reaching for the floor, reaching up to the ceiling, stretching behind your shoulders like that. If it feels good, do it. So as you've probably worked out by now, we think just generally moving is a great way to manage feeling stiff. You might wake up in the morning feeling stiff and going for a walk is a great way morning. to reduce your stiffness. Or maybe going for a bike ride. Hello! So those two forms of cardio or anything you enjoy, like going for a swim, whatever it is, is a great way to improve your heart function, but also reduce your stiffness. Strength training is also a great way to manage stiffness. Now you might have been led to believe that strength training actually makes your muscles short, stiff and tight. Well, actually none of that is true. In the short term, yes, when you first start strength training, you may feel some stiffness that lasts one or two days. That's totally normal and it dissipates very quickly. But in the long term, engaging in strength training actually helps reduce your stiffness and promote flexibility to the same degree as stretching. But you also have the added benefits of improving your muscle strength, muscle mass, and your bone density. So here we have Jack and Ollie engaging in some strength training and you might they might find that when they first start doing the movements, they feel quite stiff and they might not be able to get a full range of motion with the movements they're doing. But as they both persist with the movements, that helps to desensitize any overprotectiveness they have which might be causing stiffness. They might find that as the movement goes on, they feel a greater ease of movement, less restriction, and they're able to go through a greater range of motion. So make sure that you persist with strength training because it can be a great way to reduce feelings of stiffness. So to recap, Feeling stiff does not necessarily equate to having short muscles or restricted joints. The best way to manage stiffness is to move, and one of the best ways to move is to strength train. So make sure that you're strength training at least twice per week to meet the physical activity guidelines. We hope that you found these tips helpful.